we have rotten, rotten politics. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at a true working class hero in my opinion. From the Sex Pistols, the man himself, Johnny Rotten. This time, the blunt hard hitting punk frontman turns his attention to more publicity Markle and the ginger Klingon. It's titled, Meghan and Harry's move with no prop mocked by Sex Pistols, John Lydon can only end badly. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey has been deemed an act of petulance by Sex Pistols frontman, John Lydon. Hard to argue with that isn't it everyone? <laughs> Meghan Markle and Prince Harry sparked global headlines following their tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey which aired on CBC, CBS and ITV last month. Did everyone watch it? Did anyone watch it or did you just watch clips like me? The 65 year old frontman hit out of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex after they branded the nation on Oprah Winfrey. Absolute debacle. He said over their bid for privacy they should mind their own business. Never a truer word was said Johnny. They should mind their own business. This is the problem you see. They they want privacy, but they want the privacy to be publicity that they get paid for. Am I wrong on that? Let me know if you think I'm wrong on my opinion on that. This was asked due to the book that they got. You remember the book that they didn't write, but they did. That one, Finding Freedom Biography. Well, they've announced they're updating it with more juices of the royal drama. That's, in my honest opinion, everyone, she created. But that's me. John said, are we ready for this? It seems like petulance when they flutter their wings and cry freedom, but it's not. They're serious prisoners. Everybody seems ever so willing to adopt a side and be spiteful with it. He added, my advice to them is they should mind their own business too. And if you want to out of the public awareness, then don't go on the Oprah show. It can only end badly for you. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, isn't it everyone? <laughs> the Sex Pistols frontman added that putting themselves out there would lead to more scrutiny and less privacy. You don't put your head in the guillotine or the chopping block, dears, because someone will quite happily press that button, John continued you to the times listen this is the best bit by the way listen to this everyone listen there are, there's many a mcdonald's both here and in britain that are more willing to take on either one or both of them and then they can truly be independently earning their own money now i could picture that everyone could you imagine megan you don't you want fries with that <laughs> stop looking at me i want to sell that and ginge would one like a soy, soy burger with one's milk of shakes also did you know your car's killing the world and i'm wearing no shoes <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I went off on a bit of a tangent there, but that did paint a picture for me. John was vocal about the royal family in his early years when he fronted the Sex Pistols, but he has appeared to make a U-turn on his inflammatory lyrics as he admitted he does feel sorry for them. The rocker added he has a sense of empathy for the royals who are trapped in gilded cages. That's true, golden cages are still cages if you don't want to be there. In my honest opinion, I have no issue, personally, with Harry and Meghan leaving. I have an issue with, um, one, lecturing in us after two, trying to shame the nation, and three, screaming privacy while getting photo ops. Hypocrisy, in other words. John has recently spoken about out about the health of his wife, Nora Foster. It's horrible hit to hear about this, John. 75, amid her Alzheimer's diagnosis, admitting he has now accepted her condition as incurable. I really am sorry to hear that, John. You have my thoughts. I'm sure you have everyone else's thoughts that's listening. He explained that despite knowing his wife's condition were worse and they're facing it together. Good man right there. That's exactly what you would expect from John. The rock star who resides in Venice California has vowed to be his partner's full-time career. While he primarily lives in the United States, John has kept his residence in the UK. In other words, kept his roots. He is a very nationally proud man, so I can understand why he has kept his roots in the UK, because I would if I moved away. Thank you, John, for very wise words. And the Sussex is, you should pay heed. He's not been nasty there he's giving you some good advice if you want privacy don't go on the oprah winfrey show and start screaming look at me i'm sandra d it's not going to work and it's going to end badly for you and everybody else but i would like to know your opinion everyone let me know if you're new to the channel don't forget to with a like comment subscribe hit the bell icon this channel relies on you to help it evade youtube so i need you to share it out if you can help out the channel in any other way there are ways of doing that in the description please check them out everyone i do rely on you stay sane i'll see you on the next one